Hi guys, Ian from the Football Boots team and today we're looking at the 20 best Nike boots of the season so far. And we're starting off with a, is a brand new release, the Nike Tiempo Legend 8 in the future DNA colorway. These are based on the Tiempo Legend 4s. Absolute classic boots, they came in the Elite Edition with the Flywire cables and that iconic orange on the heel. The colorway was this black and orange and it just looks so sharp. Obviously black and orange, we can't say no to that. Lovely little Nike swoosh on the side. This is the uh, old colorway layered onto the most current boots and it looks stunning in at number 20. We've been talking about future DNA. We're gonna keep talking about future DNA because this is another release in that recent Nike pack. These are the Phantom Venoms. Now they are based on the AZT uh, 2s. So the Air Zoom uh, Total 90s, Total 92 that came out, and they've put those this white colorway onto the Phantom Venoms. I think it looks really nice. You can see the way that the black moves down to the toe there, and you've just got a little hints of the red detailing. Maybe it would have been nice to see the red on the sole plate as well. That was a standout on the original version. You can see a bit of red on this sole plate, and these are predominantly white boots. They were seen worn on pitch by Kevin De Bruyne and they are the Phantom Vision 2s. So they've got this kind of laser crimson, almost like a pink color to them. It's red or pink, it just depends on how you look at it. But it looks really clean with this white upper, the black ghost laces with that little bit of white mixed into the knit, which is a really nice little detail. And these are obviously the brand new Vision 2s, one of the latest releases from Nike. I think these look really nice. Um, just a slight little upgrade on the Phantom Vision ones that came out previously. All right, so number 17, and we're looking at a pair of Phantom Visions again, but these are the Phantom Vision ones. And you'll better see the differences between the boots we just looked at and these. So these are the ones, again, worn by Kevin De Bruyne. They were made only for um, players who'd won their league titles, so you would have seen the likes of Verratti in these as well at PSG. Um, and it has a slightly different pink to these. It's more of like a mango-y salmon color. Tied in with the Phantom Fire Pack, there were also a pair of Phantom uh, Venoms that came out with a similar colorway, perhaps a little bit nicer than these. The gray on these, perhaps not my favorite color to be seen on a boot. But moving on, let's look at the next pair of boots. And I do like the colors that we've used on these, kind of earthy colors. And we originally thought this was going to be called the Earth Pack, ended up being called the Terra Pack. And I love the logo on the heel of these. We'll look at that in a second. But the other thing is, look at the colors change in the Nike swoosh on that. So nice. And then that kind of, the, the beige almost to the upper blends in really nicely with that Precision Power Zone. There is that Planet logo. I love that. We thought for a while these might even be called the Planet Football Pack. And that would have been cool as well. They are very nice boots indeed. All right, talking about nice boots, we are looking at the launch pretty much of the Vapor 13. So there was a pair of Superflies that came out in this blue as well. Right at the start of the season, you were seeing all sorts of players wearing these, the Superflies and the Vapors, both stunning boots, no real difference apart from obviously that collar, but a lot of Nike players were wearing these at the start of the season and they're just so nice. The blend of that new Flyknit they were using is so nice on there and it, all that Just Do It that we've seen throughout the season started off on those. All right, so now we're looking at a really nice red and white pair of boots. Definitely a little bit more red on here than the um, pink that you see on some of the other boots in this pack. And we're talking about the Fu Future Lab pack. Now the Future Lab pack, um, the Tiempos, they were worn by the likes of uh, Virgil van Dijk. Um, matched really nice with his Liverpool kits, if that's your kind of thing. And the split colors of these, the red and the white, is really nice. It reminds me of kind of an old school CTR Maestri um, color combination that we'd seen on some of those boots. And all those nice little details that they added to the Future Lab pack over the boot. It just is overall a really nice release and perhaps one of my favorite Tiempos that we've seen this season so far. All right, in at number 13, and we've got a pair of boots here, which are the Mercurial Dream Speed 001. So these were the launch of the Dream Speed collection, the boots that were seen worn by Cristiano Ronaldo, Kylian Mbappe, and Sam Kerr. And it's an evolution of those signature editions that Ronaldo had, and he had his um, chapters previously. And now we've got these boots which have been used for Ronaldo and Mbappe. I don't know if we're gonna see any more than chap the chapter two of these really, or will there be a three? We'll find out 
when football resumes but for now we've got these and I really like the design on them uh, that was number 13 in at number 12 we're going back to the future lab pack and this time we are looking at another red and black pair of boots again that split look to them and these are the phantom venoms look at the silver on the swoosh on these really nice indeed these are the boots that Harry Kane was seen wearing in training uh, when he was coming back from his injury and a whole bunch of uh, goal scorers wearing these the likes of Lewandowski um, and also Raheem Sterling wears these so a very nice boot indeed the split between the red and the black is really nice reminds us a little bit of one of the launch colorways the game over Phantom Venoms that we also saw um, but overall a very nice release indeed we're going to move on we're going to look at number 11 this time we're looking at a special edition release now thanks to the guys at the boot room for this one their video um, check them out on Instagram or on YouTube look at these these were the t90 uh, remakes and they're so nice in that nice yellow the original t90 remade um, just a stunning boot really and it's such a good uh, one-off release from Nike hopefully we can see some more uh, full remakes like this because obviously with the future DNA pack we saw boots that uh, modern boots that look like old boots but they would have been so cool to see perhaps the hypervenom come back or something like that but we haven't seen that as yet all right now Talking about the Hypermen and coming back, look at the colors on these. We're back to the orange and black. We are big fans of that. A nice silver swoosh on these. But obviously these are based on the original Hypervenoms that came out in 2013, launched by Neymar. But Kai Havartes was seen wearing these for Bayer Leverkusen. Um, and they've just got all of the details of the original Hypervenom. Got the ghost laces cover in the black. And it's just got that orange over most of the upper with the lovely Nike swooshes standing out in the black over the toes and then the orange around the heels. But again, it would have been so cool to see the actual Hypervenom come back. People were really asking and hoping for that when they saw these, but alas, not yet. Maybe something for the future we can but hope. All right, number nine in the list, and we're looking at a pair of boots that are made for Neymar. So these were his Speed Freak Signature Editions. He wore these for quite a long time, actually. He managed to stay fit, and they're based on his love of motor racing. So you've got that checkered flag type design underneath here. You can see it through the cutout as well. And the colors on these are so good. You've got the uh, swoosh, which also uses that checkered flag design. And then you've got a whole collection of Neymar logos all over the heel. All the different logos we've seen from Neymar. He's had quite a few. He's even got another new one, I think, coming up for his next signature release, which we were going to see at the Copper America, but that's been postponed to 2021. So we may not see that release for a little while, or it might come out later in the year anyway. All right, check out these. These are a little bit interesting. In at number eight, these are a hard ground version of the sole plate. So you can see a few differences with these on the Phantom Venoms than you've seen on some of the other Phantom Venoms in this video. That is why the sole plate looks different. They are designed for hard ground. The white Nike swoosh stands out very nicely on these and you've still got that uh, detailing around the heel that's very subtle with the mango. You can see that Phantom Venom sticking out and the Just Do It which we originally saw on the New Lights pack. It's still here as well. These are the Phantom Fire ones. These were worn by Raheem Sterling as a, a league winner last season, so he represented these. And the details on these is really nice. The mango reminds me um, of an old school T90. I just think they're very nice indeed. All right, talking about nice boots, in at number seven, we're going back to the Future Lab pack. And these definitely have a bit more of that pink to them. You can see the shimmer and the shine of them change as we uh, move them around. Uh, Harlan scored a whole bunch of goals wearing these. Hazard didn't really get a chance to wear them. Uh, Frankie de Jong definitely wore them for Barcelona. And overall, a very nice boot indeed. I'm not entirely sure that Neymar actually did get a chance to wear these. Whether he stayed in his speed freak, he might have got a game or two in. But these were also available in the Superfly. We decided to show you the Vapors here. Um, really nice design indeed. All those details around the back. Very nice indeed. That was at number six. Sorry, this is number six, and this is courtesy of the boot collector. He's shown us what is a crazy looking pair of Tiempos. Check out the boot collector on Instagram. Look at the upper on these. It's so, so good. So it's like a razzle dazzle type thing. It's a camo. It was tied into the launch of the Tiempos. You would have seen uh, Vajra Van Dyke, Joe Gomez, and a few other Nike players wore these in pre-season training just getting into the start of the season a limited release these were and so good initially you think they're just black and white but when you get closer to them you can see all these different colors in them even the colors are blended into the knit there which is such a nice touch a little bit of detail on the sock liner as well overall they are crazy to look at but i think fantastic boots all right we've got into the top five 
So we've got five to go and this is in the Future Lab pack again and we're looking at the very first pair that we saw of the Phantom Vision 2s. So they were headlined and launched by Kevin De Bruyne and uh, Verratti also wore them at PSG. And I really like these. I like the combination of the black and the red. It's the first time that we saw the Vision 2, the slightly reduced collar and it's just a very little kind of upgrade. There's not massive changes between these and the Vision ones, but these I think look really nice. You've obviously got the ghost faces that are stuck around. A nice little additional feature is being able to pull up here, a little tab there you can pull up to get them on a lot easier than you did with the original Visions. So that's a real nice bonus and they just fit a little bit more snug around your foot, a bit of a tighter fit, which is quite nice. All right, number four, and thanks to Paridge, check him out on Instagram. We are looking at what is possibly one of my favorite boots that we've seen this season. These were the Launch Vapor 360s. They came out at the same time as a Superfly, which looks exactly the same. Absolutely stunning. I love the sole plate on these. I love the colors on these. I love the shadow of the Nike swoosh. And they're very similar in design to the New Lights pack, but they were that orange, which is a limited release. All right, now, number three in our list, Kylian Mbappe. You can see that all over the box. And uh, the 93 there is for his postal code in the Bondi area of France that he uh, was playing his football. We want to know what your favorite boot is in this video. We have got two to show you still, so stay tuned and let us know once you've seen those, which is your favorite. Make sure you vote in the poll card and tell us. But look at the green and the gold and the combination on these. It's based on the trees and stuff in the area of um, France. Mbappe gold on the hill there. And then just look at the details on the swoosh on these. Two stars for those two FA, uh, French World Cup wins. And the 93 on the front there. These were a bit of a limited release as well, actually. So not massive numbers of available. Um, they are just stunning. All right, number two in the list. And talking about stunning, we've got another pair to show you here. They are Mercurials. And in fact, they are part of the future DNA pack. So these are thanks to FUTE Boxing. He's on Instagram and YouTube. Check him out as well. These are the Mercurials, the Mercurial Future DNAs based on the original uh, Vapor Superfly. And the design is just so good. These are such a better boot than when the originals came out, but they've still got that original design to them. These are the boots that Ronaldo wore when he was at Manchester United. We've also seen Ibrahimovic in these, but they're just so nice, nice now. The upper is so soft. It's just a fantastic kind of look back to what the boot used to look like. I love them indeed. We've also got a little tease for you here. We're going to do a best Adidas of the season so far, but we're waiting for these to come out. When they come out, we'll be publishing that video. But soon, hopefully, these will be revealed and we'll move on to that. Okay, so in at number one, we have these. Our favorite boot of the season so far, the Mercurial Dream Speed 2. Got that speed of light on the swoosh there. Got such beautiful, crazy colors wrapped over the whole upper of the boot. Just shows you what Nike can do with that fly knit. We're super excited to see what they will do when football resumes. So these boots were made for Cristiano Ronaldo, Kylian Mbappe, Sam Kerr. Guys, please vote in the poll card. Let me know your favorite boot in this video. Thanks very much for watching. Go enjoy your football.